Hey, hello, hello. Welcome to Mental Channel Tech Grantha. So uh, yesterday uh, we discuss about uh, the Loadrunner tutorial, uh, the lecture number 20, and where we discuss about the some scripting challenge. So on the part one we discuss the first three scenario, and uh, today on the part two we are going to discuss about the uh, another two scripting challenge. <coughs> so uh, before if anyone uh, miss that previous lecture, please go on the Loadrunner tutorial uh, playlist. and uh, you can watch that video and also uh, you can watch the jmeter dynatrace all those sessions so before i will proceed if anyone have doubt you can just comment on the comment box i will try to respond as soon as possible and please share that video to your friend and colleagues so uh, let's uh, give the one uh, brief uh, idea like what we discussed as of now so like the last sessions we covered till scenario number 3 like we discuss about how can we convert the load runner variable into the integer then we discuss about the random value how can we pass and how can we use the split the string into the tokens using the string token function now we are going to discuss about the scenario number 4 and scenario number 5 today okay let's uh, see the scenario number 4th first So on the scenario number fourth, what we we have the requirement like how can we read the data from uh, file and how can we write down into the txt format? So this is the one uh, like uh, basic approach uh, how we can proceed. So what we did there, so first of all we initialize the one file name uh, which we took the uh, uh, like the data type as a long. then after that we given the file name and there it is the path of this uh, uh, this is the path of our txt file where we want to save uh, that one then in between uh, our code will be there and then those are the few uh, syntax which we need to use so what we are doing there so on the first statement we are going to check if the file uh, is team like that is the file name whatever we given so if file name is equal to we are going to open the file and if suppose that is equal to null if there is nothing value so it will throw the some error message uh, like the file can't be open with that file name otherwise what it will do so there we are going to extract the origin so we parameter i we already correlated the origin value on our request and before that is the a uh, character here yeah, that is a string so we can't directly pass on our load runner so we are going to evaluate first after evaluating we are going to print that uh, value okay and we just given as f print of then file name and slash n is like every time it should become as a next line so that's when we we use uh, that syntax and when that activity has been done then we need to close the file using the f close function so that is a some uh, basic approach which we need to do uh, to read the data and uh, write down into the txt format okay so this was the some uh, scripting challenge uh, the scenario number 4 now the scenario number 5 which is the most 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 important uh, thing how can we uh, uh, handle that correlation uh, if suppose your uh, left and right boundary itself uh, it is Uh, like uh, uh, keep changing there so there is a three function is there one is like ic uh, then a dig and then the lnum so what is the use of those so whenever we are going to use the ic so what it will do it will ignore the case sensitive on the left and right hand boundary it doesn't matter uh, it is the upper case it is a lower case so that we can use the function like webrex safe param and that is our parameter name and we given is a left boundary slash ic and ignore cancel sensitive that way we can uh, use the next thing is like the dig function so why we are using the dig function so for example if that is the one scenario like our left boundary or right boundary is changing like only one number of the particular position is changing so on that example you can see 3 8 7 that the number is keep changing uh, on our uh, uh, dynamic value so what we are going to use there we are using the function as a dig so how we are using that one left boundary slash dig and the character the integer value which is changing we are going to replace with the character is hash okay so here also you can see 
uh, that we are using on the same format right so that the way we can use the dig function the same thing for the lm lm nothing we are doing the more uh, major difference uh, that is the minor is like if any of the alphanumeric character is changing there so there you can see uh, like 3k t that is keep changing there on that position so that we are going to replace with our the symbol is that uh, like with this symbol we are going to replace that one okay so that that is the some functions if suppose your left and right boundary itself also keep changing so we are using those ic dig and uh, lm function so those are the five uh, common challenges which we are facing on the scripting level uh, which i want to discuss with you guys and if anyone have any other doubt you can just comment on the comment box so uh, thank you so much uh, to each and everyone and uh, please uh, watch that video and if you have any comment, any doubt you can comment on the comment box. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks to all.